Dr. Bergwald, why is the treatment for rabies, uh, why does it have such a reputation for being so painful? I think the main reason that, that is painful is because the vaccine is produced from uh, either brain substance or more recently now from duck embryo. This is a foreign protein. The administration of the drug has to be on the abdominal wall in individual sites. You do not put one injection over the other. Uh, frequently after three to four or five or six injections, uh, when you would give a new injection, the previous sites then become inflamed and reddened. The patient becomes, uh, may have a febrile reaction, an elevated temperature, they're achy, uh, very dis uncomfortable. And I think this is the uh, one of the main reasons. Of course, the other thing that's so important is that the vaccine can cause a meningitis-like or an encephalitis-like uh, problem, which uh, apparently uh, is reversible, but uh, this would make a, an individual be ill, uh, maybe for weeks and months from taking the injections. Now, rabies is sometimes termed hydrophobia? That's right. Uh, the disease is caused by a virus, and uh, the reason we're so concerned about the illness is that once the disease has been established, apparently it is almost 100% fatal. And uh, you do have time because the incubation period is relatively long, uh, especially if it's a dog bite. And if the bite is on the lower extremity, you have time to wait. Uh, but it is very important that the, eh, the vaccination be given prior to the time where the disease process is actually established in the body. Mm -hmm. How long is that time? Well, normally uh, we would say uh, within five to ten days you could tell whether a dog uh, has developed the disease. That's why it's important to get the dog and watch the dog and have the dog pinned so that if the dog uh, is not ill within 10 days, then you're reasonably sure that the uh, dog is not rabid and that you do not have a problem. But with the summer season right upon us, it, it, there are other animals besides dogs that uh, should be watched. That's right. Uh, uh, any, uh, any animal is capable of carrying uh, the disease. Uh, I think sometimes fox, wolf, Squirrels, skunks uh, are probably the most common animals, uh, so consequently it's important that uh, a wild animal that uh, you would be able to come up to and pet, uh, you should be cautious about because this is probably a sick animal.